feel like this is becoming a, a mini sewed now, a mini series. Oh, my poor baby. Oh, man. All right, then. You guys, what's going on? We're back. Another video. Uh, just another update once again, showing you guys or letting you guys know what's up, okay? But I'm a little bit happier this time. Uh, just a little bit. Not a whole lot. So good news and bad news currently with the truck. So previously, if you guys weren't tracking, you guys were aware that my truck wouldn't start. Fuel issues, etc., etc. If you don't, if you're not 100% tracking on what's going on, just watch the last couple videos. You'll get caught back up. But anyways, so the new uh, harness did come in from Air Dog. I got it in a couple days. I think Thursday. I got it in. I put it on this morning. Um, did not help the problem. Uh, the truck wouldn't start. Okay. Now well, I was able to get the truck to start this morning briefly, and then it cut off. Um, but that, it, it was not because the lift pump was working. It was purely whatever fuel was still in the injection pump it was using it um but she fired up for like 20 seconds and then she cut out again um so now previously we weren't getting power from the uh, from the original uh fuel fuel plug we're just gonna call it that for right now the plug that originally plugs into the uh in tank sending unit the OEM plug, that plug, we weren't getting power from that when we would turn the key forward, um, and it, it, it was a it was an issue. It was an issue. All right. So pretty much what happened was, I swapped the harness out, and then I got a where's my phone at? Damn, my phone's inside. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my phone, uh, and I'm gonna name a couple people for just helping me out a lot. Um, actually, actually no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until later. Uh, I'll I'll say why. Anyways. Um, people been helping me out, uh, and I can't remember your name, brother, but you sent me some of the schematics, and I thank you guys, thank you so much, man, it really helped out a ton, um, but yes, we have power now to the air dog unit, so when you turn the key forward, and you put the test light on the pigtail at the air dog, it lights up, it's getting power, awesome, I'm so happy because I was really freaky, I was freaking out, I was really nervous before that it was my tip -um, which a lot of you were saying, now, I'm going to talk about a tip in a second. Anyways, turn the key forward, air dog dead, completely dead. Um, I did talk to air dog a couple times, and one of the things they told me to do was take off the, uh, the gear plate. I think it's called like the gear rotor or gear rater. Uh, take the plate off and check the gears and make sure there's no debris in there. I did that today. It was clean. I put just a little, little light coat of uh, some motor oil on it, I think 15W40 on it. Um, everything was good. Everything was clean in there. Uh, but the pump, turn the key forward, no priming, okay, bump the key, bump the key, pump didn't even click in, so now, it's looking like the pump is bad, the air dog motor itself is, is fried, shot, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, it's really weird because, I, um, in my mind, the only thing I can think of is that maybe the pump, it, it can happen two ways, it, it can happen, you know, 180, either way, the pump was working, maybe the pump heated up or overworked itself and caused the wiring harness to, I guess, fry itself, the relay was melted, all that stuff, or vice versa, maybe the relay, you know, internally shorted or something, causing the pump to spaz and click out, I don't know, I'm not an electrician, I don't deal with wiring, I'm more of a motor reciprocating, you know, engine blocks, I'm, I'm more of that type of guy, um, but yes, I've been... I tell you what, man. Troubleshooting wires is, is is a pain in the ass, and I never I never want to deal with wires again after today after going through this. So we're gonna contact Air Dog on Tuesday um, and see if we can get this pump sent out and checked out. And if it's bad, maybe they'll send us a new one because she is not clicking. Uh, she doesn't want to do nothing. Uh, you turn the key forward, bump the key, nothing. Um, I know sometimes people say, well, if the line's prime, it's not going to prime itself. Well, if that's the case, even if it is primed, I would have a fuel pressure reading showing prime on my gauge, my uh, glow shift gauge. Now, I know my, my, my glow shift gauge, I know people knock them all the time, but they're working good. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I'm just relieved and happy that we have power going through the air dog harness. All right, that's my biggest thing because... If power was not going through there, it would be a nightmare troubleshooting that, man. I'm telling you guys right now, I've started looking up some of the troubleshooting steps, and I'm going to talk about it now, my TIPM, okay? Now, I completely forgot what TIPM stands for. I'm pretty sure it's like total power indicator 
something something all right uh, so yes the tip them long story short this is the tip okay your fuse box if you want to call it that now I was metering or not metering I was checking for power on some of these connectors uh, mainly the Charlie connector so if you come over here zoom in and one of them says Charlie it's like in the middle it's that brown one down there if you can see that brown one that brown one is a Charlie connector uh, correct me if I'm wrong I don't know I'm pretty sure it is though looking at the schematics um, I took it off I metered it or not meter I keep saying meter I checked for power um, I did not get a light because it was unplugged but I, pl I cleaned it with some electro electrical uh, cleaner uh, I cleaned all of this actually this was all gunked up with dirt and stuff and I highly recommend you guys if not check this area out in your truck because when I first opened this up there was it was dirt bugs everywhere hell you might even have a little rat nest in there and if a rat gets a hold of those wires that that's a bad day so um, yes I clean, went ahead and cleaned everything now what happened was it was the strangest thing and I'm pretty sure there's a short somewhere here in the tip of area because when the way it's sitting right now I had my wife turn the key and we were getting power at the air dog we were getting power at the air dog power all through the harness everything was working perfect I was like oh wow I was like we, you know we might actually get the truck started and then um, I put it back I was like okay we got power I put it back and then I put all of this back in this original spot, snapped it in, no power. We didn't have any power down by the air dog, okay? So, it's leading me to believe that there is a short somewhere in the Tipham area, um, harnesses. It's in this region, right, right around here, okay? Uh, because when I did put it back down in there, it, it wasn't give, sending power to the sending unit. And I know people can say you can get these rebuilt. Um, I heard it's an expensive job, labor, ch wire chasing, etc., etc. Right now, I got my batteries charging, or battery charging. One battery is charging. Um, let's see. She's at 12.4. So yeah, she's all right. Um, she's charging right now though, because I'm trying to give her some juice because earlier it was dying for me starting it so many times. Um, I'm only going to try to start it a few more times. Uh, actually, not a few more times, but I, I, I'm only going to start it so much every now and then. I, I'm not going to sit there and go ham trying to start it for five minutes straight. Because one, you're going to burn your starter out. Two, you're probably going to destroy your injection pump. So, I'm not trying to get caught up in that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get out the sun. It's hot as hell. And I got like all black on for some reason. So yeah, um, that's it. That, that's, that's what's going on, you guys. Um, so it kind of sucks today's Sunday. I'm gonna have to wait until uh, Tuesday because tomorrow's Labor Day, so I'm pretty sure almost every place is closed in the country. I'm gonna Tuesday morning contact Air Dog, uh, see if we can get the pump sent out or see something, see if we can get the pump checked and make sure it's good or see if it's good or bad. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to put my money on that the pump might be bad, uh, just because that pump's not doing nothing, uh, it's not doing anything, and Another, another avenue of approach too could be also the ground unit. So now we have power from the positive side, but what are the chances that the ground side is not grounded properly? But my thing is, is that, at least for the air dog, the ground and the power run in the same harness. So if something was wrong with the ground, I, I would think the relay would not even send power through the positive. Correct me if I'm wrong, comment down below what you think about that thought. Comment about, down below about all of what I've talked about so far. Um, but that's how I'm sitting right now, you know. So we're just gonna keep keep on keep on in. Um, I told myself, you know, let's say we get a new pump sent in. The pump comes in. The pump still doesn't work. Like it still doesn't want to turn on. If at the point we replace the pump and it still doesn't work, I'm taking it to a shop. <laughs> it's like straight up. It is. She's going to a shop. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call my tow service and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them tow that shit to the shop. And I'm just gonna pay someone to fix that shit, cause I'm not I'm not about to be chasing wires up and down the cab, all that stuff. Uh, I don't have time for that. Uh, and on top of that, she's sitting on the curb on my house. I don't like that. Uh, and it, you know, my truck's not running. I need my truck, man. Hunting season about to start here in North Carolina. For those of you that hunt, uh, archery season, bow season, same shit. Uh, opens up September 7th, next Saturday. Uh, I actually got some corn here. 
I got some deer corn here that I've been putting corn down on our hunt property like every other week pretty much but we got deer corn um, here's the old harness for those of you curious uh, I haven't gone through it yet to see if anything was wrong with it just because I don't care I, I, could, I could I can definitely tell you that I have a good feeling that this harness was bad because up to this point I was not getting jack in the old harness nothing um, but who knows at least we got a brand new harness in 50, 50 bucks later uh, gonna be changing the air dog filters here soon and probably gonna be changing that sump out because that sump is I don't like it it's like it's not leaking but like it's wet it's always wet so I'm definitely gonna be changing out that sump uh, probably go to beans diesel sump just something a little bit more better that's just a generic basic sump uh, the fittings and stuff I guess aren't the best mate mating quality for threads and whatnot so other than that you guys let me see where we at on time 11 minutes all right well other than that you guys I just want to give you guys an update um, I know these are not the most exciting videos right now, but I just feel like I want to keep you guys up to date, keep you guys in the loop, um, you know, let y'all know how's it going. Uh, hopefully next video, next time we talk, she'll be running and we'll be doing new mods on it and uh, throwing this stuff on. I mean, shit, look at this, man. You guys think I'm, I'm playing around, man. We got, we got AMS oil here. As soon as she's running again, we're going to be doing an AMS oil oil change. We got a board, uh, not board warner. Ugh. Smedin Diesel, and you can see right there, good old Smedin. Smedin Diesel uh, S464 Turbo sent out by my good friends over at MDC Diesel. Now, real quick, when I say sent out, it doesn't mean free. That's just a quick disclaimer. <laughs> Anyways, we got that. Uh, Smedin Diesel S464 Turbo. I keep having brain farts, I don't know why. Uh, we got an oil analysis kit. I'm going to be doing some really, really cool stuff with this. This is not even all of it. This is just uh, half of it. The other half is going to be awesome. Uh, oh, actually, I organized the garage, you guys, uh, since the last time you guys came in. So, let's, it's a little dirty up here because I was detailing the car yesterday. So, if you look in here, before it was junk all in here. I still got, a little, I got stuff out right there because I was detailing yesterday, so I haven't put my stuff up away all yet. But now... I got all my detailing products up top. I cleared off my work, my toolbox. I got some more car wash stuff. I have a tons, I have tons of car wash stuff. For those of you that didn't know, cleared off all that stuff. Motor oil box. I can mean, I can put that on the floor. Shop towels. Um, all my sprays, my aerosols, paints, and whatnot. Uh, more, more of that gold paint. Uh, we got traction bars here in the corner. Still got to get those, the brackets welded onto the truck. Turbo more cleaning stuff. I did a paint correction on a Lincoln Navigator yesterday. It came out really good. Um, but yeah, that, that you know, that's that's what we doing, man. So, all right, you guys. Until next time. Thanks for tuning in. Like always, please give that thumbs up on the channel. Make sure you comment down below about everything I talked about. Um, we'll be in touch soon and have a good Labor Day weekend. Be safe. God bless. All right. Peace out.